You're drunk again. I'm sorry. I know. Give it to me. No, I know. I mean, this is the third time this month. Good. It's bad for you. <laughs> Good. It's not funny. Rams, you know better than this. You don't get it. You never have and you never will. What don't I get? Me. What? You have like this picture in your head of what you think I am. And the more I learn about it, the more I realize that I am not that person. I don't think that's true. I'm a fucking piece of shit, okay? I mean, just give me the bottle. No, because you see, actually, I've learned something. What might that be? I'm actually less likely to hurt myself when I'm drunk. Hmm. Which is the opposite of a lot of people's experiences, I know, but like, it's weird. Um, either way, this much alcohol isn't good for your system. You're gonna have, like, blackouts. At least I probably won't remember this in the morning, though, right? Maybe, but if you forget, I'm just going to explain it all to you again. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, if you're dead set, it's better to drink together than alone. Can I have some? Oh, yeah, nice try. I almost had me there. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I'm sorry. For what? I don't love you the way I'm supposed to. What does that mean? You're my best friend, okay? You're my favorite person, and I love you stronger than I've ever loved anybody. Platonically. And what's wrong with that? You're not supposed to be platonic. Says who? Everyone I've ever mentioned you to. Supposed to be classic childhood friends to lovers trope, but I just, I, I don't feel it. That's okay. I don't either. <laughs> I guess we're both fucking bad at this then. I mean, if you can't stop yourself from drinking, you might actually have a problem. I can stop myself. You've seen me do it. Well, yeah, months ago, but it seems that you might not be able to anymore. I can. I just don't want to. Why not? I'd rather feel awful and forget it than just feel the even level of bad all the time and remember it. Besides, my books are way funnier with this. Oh, is that why you were uh, crying at Little House on the Prairie last week? Rams, come on. Let me finish the bottle and I'll stop. Fine, as long as I can supervise you. Yes, don't let your fiancé in here. I might punch you in the face. I don't know why you two just can't get along. He's a fucking homophobe, Kate. What? No, he's not. We have dinner with Vin and Ron all the time. He says the relationship is sweet. Yeah, well, at the very least, he's biphobic. He's a dick to me. Honey, not everyone who's a dick to you is biphobic. We've been over this. I go anywhere with him, he'll point out 12-year-old boys and say, Hey, look, it's your type. <sighs> yeah, he... He likes dark humor and just hasn't really gotten the hang of the delivery yet. I don't know what you see in that bastard. Hey, he loves me. Doesn't want anything else from me. He doesn't tell me to be quiet or calm down all the time. He's sweet and nice. He's taking care of his little sister right now because his dad's been having medical scares and his parents wanted to keep her away from that. He's good to me. I love him. But I, I will talk to him about the, granted, kind of homophobic jokes. Ah, uh, don't. I, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm sober and he'll be mad at me. You say that as if you're not the same person. When's the last time that bitch was honest about his feelings, huh? You might have a small point. Fuck him. You know for a fact that you couldn't pay me to do that. Fine, I'll fuck him. That would probably be the better course of action. Yeah, I know how to do it properly. <laughs> Who makes this shit? Like, do they even have someone taste test it? If you don't like the taste, why do you drink it? You've met my parents. You know how well I can ignore flavor. What's the benefit? <sighs> I fucking hate myself, Kate. Every part of it. There isn't a single part of me that I like. Oh, there's a whole lot of parts of you that I like. Haven't I already explained to you why that doesn't help? Yeah, but what else am I supposed to say to that? 
See, this is what I'm talking about. If drinking makes you feel this bad, what if it makes you do something bad again? Oh, that's the thing. I'm not gonna try to kill myself while I'm drunk. Because that's when I hate myself the most. I want that bastard to suffer. No more suffering if he's dead. I want you to stop. After tonight, I want you to stop. Can you do that? For me? Okay. In the morning, I'm going to clear out any alcohol that you have just to not tempt you. You can tell me where you're hiding it. Let me first under my desk. Okay. And the bourbon you stole from your father? Fake dictionary on my bookshelf. Okay. Anything else that I should get rid of while I'm at it? That weed in my desk drawer. What? Remy, we're north of the border. It's not legal here. I know. I'm sorry. Do you know how much trouble thing could get in if anyone found out? Why do you even have it? It numbs it. Pretty sure if I went to a doctor and asked, I could get it medically prescribed for the PTSD. As true as that may be, you don't have a prescription for it right now. I know. I know it was different at college where you, as a white boy, were roommates with another white boy. But this is a Latino household, Remy. It's basically legal for you, but for me or Vin, it is actual jail time. Anything else? Other than some Adderall, which I legit just use for studying, I promise. It's just... That, that's it. Okay. Okay, that, that, that you can keep. And Vin's been looking up AA meetings for you, and I, I want you to go to one on Saturday. I'm not an alcoholic. Maybe not yet, but do you want to become one? No. Then you need to take preventative measures before it happens. So it's a hell of a lot easier to back away from the edge than it is to climb back up it. Okay. I love you, Rems. I'm not mad at you. I'm just worried about you. I'm sorry. I know you are. Now it's time to fix it. <laughs>